Are you having trouble controlling your plane? Then stick around. In this video, I'll be going over how to set your controls for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Go to the options screen from the menu, then find control options. We're gonna start with camera settings. I've set my controls to the little knob hat switch on the top of the joystick. This lets me move the camera around inside the cockpit. I've also used the same switch for the external camera controls so I can move around outside of the plane. What I have done is I've swapped my left and right controls. This is just something personal, you can do it yourself or you can keep it the same as the internal camera. To switch between internal and external cameras, I have set it to a combination of the SE button on the throttle control and the red and black stripe button in the center of the joystick. I have set the pause as the ST button on the throttle section. These controls are the most important of all and they're the primary surface controls. This is what's going to let you fly the plane. Moving the joystick left and right rolls the aircraft left and right. Pulling the joystick back and pushing forward adjusts the pitch of the aircraft. The rudder, however, is set to the buttons on the back of the throttle. This controls the yaw of the plane. Just be careful because too much can cause the plane to roll uncontrollably. This one kind of speaks for itself. The throttle is set to the throttle and in this configuration won't work with turbo props or jets that have reverse throttle. Brakes have been set to the top button on the right side of the throttle. These will be used to bring the plane to a stop after landing. Parking brake is set to the second button on the right side of the throttle and this will be used to bring the plane to a complete stop or just before taking off. The landing gear button has been assigned to the third button on the right side of the throttle and this will just bring the landing gear up and down. Trim is used to point the nose of the aircraft up or down in order to reduce the amount of input you need on the joystick. This has been set to the top and front buttons of the joystick where the top button pitches the plane up and the front button pitches the plane down. Flaps have been set to the buttons on the front of the throttle just next to the rudder controls. The top button will retract flaps or bring them up. The bottom button will extend flaps or bring them down. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to be notified of future videos. If you have any suggestions or have some of your own control setting tips, leave them in the comments section down below.